very good morning my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking of course as usual every saturday we have to make a review about our signals and i just wanted to share with you the great and very good results we had this week actually we just had one bad day and the rest of the days were really very profitable i am showing here in front of you the results from our premium group this is our premium group on telegram please entertain your eyes with these green results all of them have uh, thankfully been in profit uh, we can see that only AUD UST was only in 28 pips of loss uh, that is exactly what I am talking about that we are doing our best to avoid uh, reaching any stop loss with any signals meanwhile pound CAD has reached 120 pips of profit pound CAD again 60 pips of profit then we can see uh, here again pound and ZD 120 pips of profit and as you can see all of them all of the signals are actually in very good profits uh, I think the, the, the bad day was uh, Wednesday we can see that sadly we had two signals Euro GPY and NZD USD have reached the stop loss and that is very very rarely happening in our group and thankfully <coughs> the next day we were able to recover look at that all of these signals have went straight in the profit some of them actually most of them have went in the take profit number three pound AUD euro cad and AUD cad all of them have reached the take profit number three and thankfully we were we have managed to end this week in very good profit and thankfully all the members in the group are very gla uh, glad and very satisfied with the results look at that just wanted to say thank you for this month signals so this is example that you should always listen to the reviews we have received from the members who have spent at least a month with our signals uh, this guy here also he have made good profit this one as well Angela this week you were rocking the scene keep on the good work another great day Angela all of the I, I'm, I'm really happy to see these messages uh, it is what we are working for and I'm very glad to see the members actually making good uh, profit and the living from our signals have a great weekend and great signals this week Angela looking forward to make profits this August so everything is going well so far and I'm very grateful uh, yes we are uh, doing our best of course and hopefully we are gonna keep up the good work so again thank you all to the members who have sent us these great feedback so in the end if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's start right now with the weekly analysis and of course before we start analyzing the market we need to understand first wha what's happening with the US dollar now actually as we can see this is the US dollar currency index and as we can see that the dollar has actually on the weekly chart this is weekly chart uh, the dollar has made a strong bounce on, uh, on the support level on uh, I think 93 let me check sorry 92.56 as we can see this was a very strong key support level in the past uh, since more than five years and the dollar has actually made a reaction to that level it has actually bounced however uh, the US dollar has actually made the break the breakout from the Fibonacci 61.8 this candle has closed below Fibonacci 61.8 and therefore we can expect from the pair to actually make a small bounce here just like that to retest the broken support on 93.96 and after that the dollar is gonna continue the fall actually uh, the dollar is still weak uh, because of the positive cases found um, in the United States and also the economic war between United States and China is still rising uh, there are no signs of any um, how can I say that uh, the Mr. Trump is not backing off at all so therefore we need to expect uh, the US dollar to continue the fall now going to the euro to the euro USD as I said the US dollar is still weak and is falling down meanwhile the euro is actually rising why is happening actually uh, the euro dollar has actually received a powerful boost by the agreement of the uh, uh, European Union uh, for recovery funds and long-term budget to help Europe fully recover from the coronavirus crisis effects Therefore, I think uh, these funds are gonna help be very helpful to the euro and therefore the euro the euro itself is gonna rise and the USD dollar itself is gonna fall Therefore euro USD is actually gonna rise Now of course that rise is not gonna happen uh, immediately 
Now the question is how long the euro USD is gonna continue the rise. Moving to the monthly chart, we can see that we have a potential rise all the way until the euro USD reach the resistance on 1.2540. But that's of course gonna be ha happening on long run and we're talking about almost 770 pips and that's gonna happen only if the US dollar kept the fall and uh, there was no recovering happening from the effects of the pandemic in the United States. Now that being said, <clears throat> How long we can expect from the euro dollar to continue the rise? Now, as you can see, as I said, we are having right here a previous resistance and right here also on 1.16480. And we can see that we had here a strong bullish candle has closed on the monthly chart right on that level. Therefore, we can expect the next candle to actually continue the rise. Going back to the daily chart, actually we can expect from the euro dollar to just bounce a little bit on the level 1.17090 so it might actually fall for almost 64 pips before continue the rise now since I, as i said uh, before my friends we are not really sure how long the euro usd is gonna rise therefore i'm gonna send the buy signal for the euro usd to be exactly on the level 1.7090 hold on uh, sorry it's 1.17090 uh, let's move to the daily, sorry, to the one hour chart so we can see it more clear. So that's uh, the one hour chart for the Euro USD. As we can see, we're having here a good uh, support level at uh, 1.17090. And we can expect from the Euro USD to continue the fall just to hit that support level. And then from that point, it's going to continue the rise. Uh, that resistance right here on 1.19015 is going to be our target because we don't want to keep the trade running more than that as i said we are not really sure how far the euro usd is going to continue the rise so that being said we can look for almost 100 let me just uh, be sure we can look for almost 192 pips hopefully gonna be in good profit so the take profit is on the resistance of 1.19025 now for the safe zone the safe zone is going to be ranging until the previous resistance right here so we're talking about 54 pips of the safe zone exactly like that let me, just, let me just be sure and draw it for you my friends exactly like that so hopefully uh, this is going to be a good signal for the euro usd and of course as usual if something happened i'm gonna announce uh, to everyone to close the trade immediately and actually i'm gonna post another midweek analysis video actually i need to show you something hold on so actually we need to keep our eyes uh, Monday on the market because 6 p.m. Dubai time, 2 p.m. GMT time, there is the ISM PMI the news for the US dollar. Uh, this actually, it depends of course on the outcome uh, announcement or the outcome results. Uh, please be careful of uh, how the market is, is going to react to this uh, news. It might actually change this whole analysis. It depends on what uh, the news is going to do to the US dollar. So please keep your eyes on it, this one right here. Keep your eyes on this uh, news because, actually, as I said, it might actually change the whole analysis. Going to the to the pound USD. Now, of course, the pound as well has has uh, gained a lot of profits and um, um, it has gained a lot of strength because of the agreement of the. Uh, I forgot what was it. Hold on. Yes, I just checked it out and it happened because of the, of course, the weakness of the US dollar and of course as well, the lack of any headlines of the Brexit news and therefore the pound is actually recovering from what happened uh, for the past four years. Therefore, actually we can expect from the pound to fall all the way as we can see to this previous resistance level. Let's move to the daily candles. As we can see, my friends, we had the bullish breakout candle from that resistance, uh, which was also right here a strong res uh, resistance uh, in the last year. Uh, the pound USD has actually made the breakout from that resistance and therefore we can expect from the market to continue the, f the rise all the way until it hit the resistance on 1.32022. That being said, let me just uh, select this as my new target. Actually, it's higher than that. Let me just be sure. I just want to give you the best target possible, my friends. That is the resistance. So let me move to the four hour chart and check the past. I just want to be sure there was a strong support right here in the past. And indeed, sure enough, 
we are having right here support level on 1.30119 and yes i think that's a good signal exactly right here yes so we can expect from the pound usd to continue the rise after re reversing to hit the, the previous resistance on 1.30119 and for the safe zone i think we can keep it until it hit that previous support level right here exactly like that that's gonna be our safe zone my friends let me just draw for you the shape so it will be more clear exactly like that and for the take profit it's gonna be uh, 1.32107 as i said the dollar is actually still weak uh, this week and therefore we can expect from uh, other pairs to rise against the US dollar now going to the AUD USD uh, very similar to the other pairs AUD USD has actually managed to make the break out of the resistance on one uh, so uh, on 0 0.70590 and we already have right here a support number one and this price action indicating that the market is actually gonna fall a little bit to create support number two that is exactly where we are going to start buying the pair Therefore, the AUD USD is going to be good for the buy on 0 0.70823. And for the safe zone, let me just be sure. Actually, I need to change my mouse. I think it has problem here. Uh, the, let me go to the 4-hour chart. And it should be actually until hitting the previous resistance. So that should be fine like that. Uh, it's going to be almost 70 pips. That's a lot actually, but sadly it is what it is because as i said my friends uh, we're having right here a support number one but if the market might fall a little bit inside the safe zone we are having right here a previous resistance we should expect from the market to start reversing right on that support therefore we can expect for it to continue the rise until it hit that resistance level right there so uh, we can look for almost 140 pips of profit on the AUD USD. I'm not going to keep it higher than that because we need to wait and see the reaction of the US dollar from the ISM PMI news. Therefore, AUD USD is good for the buy on 0 0.70823. And that is your safe zone. Let me just be sure and draw it for you. My God, that mouse. I'm going to buy a new mouse today, well, that's for sure. All right, and the take profit level is going to be given on 0 0.72166. So hopefully it's going to be a good signal and we will make good profit out of it. Now let's look at the USD CAD. Now the USD CAD has been ranging for the, uh, I think for last two days of the last week, we can see the market has been ranging. You see the consolidation is so strong. But eventually, because of the weakness of the US dollar, I think we can expect from the pair to continue the fall. Therefore, and moving now to the daily candles, we can see that the pair is right now ranging on that previous resistance. Just be sure. On 1.3469, uh, 3.43.69, and therefore we can expect from the USD CAD to rise a little bit only to hit the previous uh, resistance again and then it's gonna continue the fall for another 222 pips that being said we need to wait for the US dollar to reverse again to hit the previous resistance let me just be sure exactly like that exactly like this and the safe zone is gonna be ranging until it hit that previous res the top of the resistance exactly so we can yeah it's just gonna be short actually we can I need to extend it. I mean, I cannot give you a safe zone of only 20 or 30 pips. That just doesn't make any sense. So USD CAD is for the sell this week on well, on the level 1.34313. And that is going to be our safe zone. Exactly like that. And uh, the take profit level, let me just be sure, is going to be given at the bottom of that support level exactly like right, right here so we can look for almost 100 pips hopefully gonna be in good profit take profit level is gonna be on one point triple oh so uh, triple three uh, three six okay good i thought it's triple three all right so this is gonna be our signal for the usd cat this week and hopefully it's gonna work out hold on guys i really have to change this mouse hold on all right so i just changed the mouse to another one hopefully this is actually more accurate okay let's move to the usd gpy oh my god this mouse is really good it's so good, I love it. Uh, by the way, if someone wondering, it is Logitech 
G502 is for gaming actually. All right, so let's just move to the USD GPY. USD GPY, as we can see, my friend has actually made the breakout from that support level, and right now it's actually continued the rise. It's about to make the retest of that previous support level, and I think from that point we actually gonna sell the USD GPY. Therefore, the signal this week is gonna be let me see how long we can expect for it to rise so we need to wait for the USD GPY to rise for another 36 pips and then we can actually start shorting it so we can short on 106.174 and we can keep the thread running until it hit that previous support level right here so the safe zone is gonna be only 50 pips thus I think I really doubt that the USD GPY is even gonna exceed that level uh, it's just gonna rise or just for like 51 pips as maximum and then it's gonna continue the fall moving to the daily candles we can look that the uh, USD GPY has really made a good breakout from that long-term support since uh, the beginning of 2020 and the retest is gonna happen uh, no matter what therefore that is exactly let me just draw for you the safe zone and exactly like he right like that I'm still suffering by the way from the mouse it's still not accurate as much as before all right good uh, we can make the take profit on 104.677 so that's gonna be our take profit from the USD GPY hopefully it's gonna be a good signal as well moving to the USD CHF USD CHF very similar to, to the USD GPY has finally made the breakout from the strong support level on 0.91831 and we can look for the retest level after like 44 pips and then the USD CHF is going to be really good for the short therefore we can start selling on 0 0.91831 and for the take profit level let's move to the weekly chart look at that actually on weekly chart we can see how ugly is the USD CHF it has been ranging for <laughs> my god that is ugly chart I hate it so bad <laughs> the chart is ranging for so long and therefore I really really hate it and then uh, what we can do actually just to be safe I'm gonna set the lowest level of the support level right here as our take profit level so we can look for almost 100 pips of profit so the take profit is gonna be 0 0.90731 uh, let me just move to the safe zone the safe zone is actually gonna be uh, the zone of the support level exactly right here so the safe zone is gonna be for almost 51 pips exactly right here because as I said uh, that is the support that has been breaking out and that is actually the support zone that is exactly gonna be our uh, safe zone as well let me just draw for you the shape of it just to be safe exactly like that so hopefully it's gonna be uh, a good deal and we will make some good profits out of it now let's move to the dollar uh, to the gold the gold which is really making remarkable rises and I think it's not gonna stop until it hit the level to the price of 2000 that's for sure prepare my friends the price 2000 of the gold is coming it's coming sooner or later it's gonna happen and I believe we can start buying the gold this week we just need to wait to wait for it actually if we look at the gold on the four hour chart we can see that we have we're having right here one two three attempts of the resistance so you can say we are having right here a uh, triple top however the gold in my opinion is completely moving based on the uh, fundamental analysis based on the weakness of the US dollar and therefore I really doubt that the gold is gonna reverse at 1975 I don't see it happening to be honest and I think the US dollar is gonna continue the rise until it hit the price of 2000 and from that point is gonna reverse is gonna react for sure at that resistance level therefore going back to the one hour chart we can expect from the gold to react to the resistance level as a resistance level and then it's gonna fall for another 127 pips right on that support level we can start actually buying the gold let me just be sure exactly like that so the gold should be good for the buy at the level 1963.79 79 sorry hold on 79 and we can keep the thread running until it hit the price of 2000 let's move to the daily chart and exactly right here 
okay good so that's gonna be our take profit level so we can expect from the gold to rise for almost 380 pips hopefully gonna be very good deal and very good profits made from the gold day trade take profit on 2000 2000 that's it don't keep it higher than that and for the safe zone let me move to the one hour chart so if the dollar if the gold is gonna fall below my entry level I'm expecting from it to reverse actually oh my god that's a lot of pips let me just be sure move to the fi uh, 15 minute time frame I just want to be sure my friends of the signal given to you and we can keep the thread running until it hit that strong support level it's, it's still a lot actually uh, the safe zone cannot be 100 pips that's a lot exactly right here yes because we're having right here as I said we're having right here a strong resistance level and right here is the support number one that is that was actually the retest after after the breakout from that resistance on 1958 therefore uh, the safe zone is gonna be ranging for almost 55 pips yeah that's enough just make it a little bit down so the safe zone is gonna be for 62 pips uh, let me just draw for you the shape of it exactly like that so here is your signals from uh, for for uh, for this week in forex, I really hope uh, it's gonna be a very very profitable and very good week for everyone. Actually, the market is really easy to be read and uh, uh, read this week because of the weakness of the dollar. Actually, that is really why, uh, why I love forex. We can make a lot of profits um, if the news if it's very positive to the US dollar or it's very bad to to the US dollar. Either way, we as a forex traders. Uh, we as a forex traders we can make really a lot of profits depending on these very positive or very negative news i know it's really really bad to the to the currency however we as a traders we want to make money and that is actually our way to make money from the uh, chaos happening in the world unfortunately it is the truth so in the end i hope this is going to be a very profitable week and in the end also i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching